SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. Would you describe Newfern's place in the laser market? Well, I guess finding uh, where Newfern actually fits in the laser ecosystem is uh, probably thinking of a sapling or a sprout rather than one of the large oaks of the industry today. Uh, we've been in existence for about 10 years. Um, and relatively new entrant because of fiber lasers. However, what's exciting about fiber lasers were <coughs> really three attributes. The first was a fiber laser was very efficient and people were quite intrigued uh, that lasers were useful but they wanted to see a high efficiency laser. So a lot of effort was made at creating a fiber laser because of the efficiency. The second was beam quality. If fibers or if lasers could have a brighter spot or a higher beam quality, there were going to be a whole bunch of new and more useful attributes and, and uh, products that could be developed. What are some of the most important attributes of fiber lasers? The, the three most important attributes of fiber lasers are first the inherent high efficiency. Complete fiber lasers uh, can offer efficiencies of between 20 and 30 percent today. Uh, the actual optical to optical efficiency in the lasing medium itself can be in excess of 90 percent, which is pretty spectacular as far as any laser media is concerned. The second big advantage of a fiber laser is that the beam quality is intrinsically established by the waveguide. It's a small thin fiber and so you can have a near perfect or what would be called single mode beam. And the last thing, of course, was, and we've seen that in a number of places, the laser is actually very robust. Once the light is in the fiber, the fiber itself can be moved, wiggled, shaked, rattled, and rolled, and the laser beam stays intact. And that is something very, very new because lasers have traditionally been harbingers of the optical bench. What are some of the primary applications where Newfern's products are used? we've really only been in the commercial laser business for the last few years and our benchmark are our amplifiers. Uh, clearly from the military side those were very interesting however the single frequency amplifiers are incredibly stable very very low noise and of course single frequency so a lot of scientific work in the atom trapping and ultra cold world were based on Neufren fiber lasers. The second big industrial area that we've just recently started producing into is the marking industry. The key switch marking lasers are suddenly a very, very hot commodity worldwide, not the least of which is to make the pieces required for PCs. Keyboards such as the one in front of you uh, are all marked with those type of lasers today. And those would be two industrial successes that we can claim to over the last couple of years. Do you see any exciting developments on the horizon? I think the horizon perspective is a very interesting one right now. Uh, the military is pushing this the hardest. As we spoke just before, the attributes of the fiber laser are interesting. However, they want to see very, very high performance combined with very high power density, very low weight. So the kilowatt racks that we've seen that were shipped with great pride only a few years ago are going to have to migrate into a lunchbox size. So along with the efficiency, the high power, the beam quality, we now have to deal with power density and brightness. How has Newfern changed in response to the changing markets over the last few years? Our organization uh, has changed and adapted dramatically and I really give credit to each and every one of the people and I'm sorry they're not all on this video today, but we started out as an entirely specialty fiber house and whether or not they wanted to, once the telecom crash came in 2001, 2002, that team ended up picking up those pieces and taking that fiber, which they had developed with great pride, and moved it on into the laser realm. That group of people had to bring on electrical engineers, optical engineers, mechanical engineers, so that we could actually package those lasers in a useful way. How has the acquisition by the Rofin Group affected your presence in the market? Well, Newfern, of course, had a major change only a few years ago. Uh, two years ago, uh, the team at Rofen uh, were looking to build on their own large industrial base of lasers and decided to purchase a fiber company. We at the time were venture capital funded. We were nearly 10 years in and we found in Rofen a true new partner. One of the most exciting things about Rofen for us and, and from our perspective 
is that we now have access to sister companies that give us a very complete product portfolio. We have everything from diodes to optical beam delivery and a very, very robust sales channel in-house under one roof. So coming in under the Federation, which is the way that Rofin is operated, has given us a tremendous advantage and has leveraged our growth to where we see right now another record year.